Hot Tub Scrappy peeps. Hello. It's Adele from Inky Quill with a little guest star today. Hello. It's my husband, Aaron, if yes. you're new to the channel. He has his own channel, Inky Beard, if you want to check him out. And today we're doing a little project life layout using the Citrus Twist December Pocket Life Kit. And I'm up on the blog today with a bit of a challenge. Ooh, mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. So my challenge today is three things. The first one is to play along at home. Um, if you've got the Citrus Twist kits, I'd love for you to share them and tag me in them on Instagram so I can see what you come up with or play along with your own stash. Uh, the first challenge is to use three smaller photos in your Project Life page. Okay. Now, they can be squares, they can be rectangles. Here I've used a horizontal rectangle, a vertical rectangle and a teeny tiny little square down the bottom there. So some smaller photos. Oh, right, and put them on the cards and stuff. Yeah, yeah right, okay. Yep. The second challenge is to use a filler card with a tag on it. Any sort of filler card, chuck a tag on it, see what you can do. And my third challenge is to try and use some labels. They're the three things. Mm. See if you can do those okay. in one Project Life page. You can head over to the Citrus Twist blog to see some up-close photos if you want to see that. First up, I I was very indecisive today. So this is the first inky workday I've had for a little bit and I was a bit rusty. I've I've kind of lost my creative mojo at the moment. I am a bit sick as yeah, well. That doesn't help. No, I'm getting I'm getting a cold, which is not fun. So are um, you just sorting through every single one of these things yeah. to then decide which yeah, one? Yeah. Oh, fair so <laughs> I'm procrastinating. I'm procrastinating <laughs> a lot. And I'm procrastinating from craftinating. So to I thought procrastinating was when you do craft, craft to avoid whatever. life adult <laughs> chores. chores. I'm procrastinating from procrastinating. It's a whole nother <laughs> it's level. It's a procrastinationception. It is. So I decided to sort all the embellishments because they're really pretty. And the thing that I love this month is Trina, um, who's the owner of Citrus Twist, asked the DT in our private Facebook group what we'd like to see in the ephemera pack, which I thought was really cool. So we gave us some suggestions of what we wanted to see. We wanted to see tags and labels and little words. And so this month it's pumping nice. with all the things that all I love. So I'm very excited. <laughs> um, so I, I struggled with, the, this was a silly card to start off with. Advice tip from Adele. <laughs> Don't start with the most difficult card that you're most unsure of. That's what I did here. And that is Adele's <laughs> MO though. Like every time you go to have a work day, you're like, oh, just ease into it. I'm just going to do a quick like 25 minute layout. It'll be fine. <laughs> and then it's like... An hour later. <laughs> the I've most got, ridiculously hectic thing you can think powders, of. I've got embossing powders. I've got die cut machines. <laughs> I've got paint i've got texture paste i've got all the things that take forever to do that's just <laughs> that's just how i roll so i eventually decide on putting a piece of paper there because the um letter stickers included this month weren't standing out enough on that photo of beans and then i just grabbed some little those little black ones uh, tim holtz from my stash because i wanted something smaller and then i really 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 liked this little tiny word um it's not a sticker it's just a tiny word piece but it was too big so I cut it down a little bit and I've stapled it on with this little puffy sticker and I decided to use this one for a couple of reasons you might be going Adele it's lime green have you not <laughs> noticed this fact alas I have but Archie is in his lime green walker and ah, so yes. I try to use all of the lime green embellishments when I'm doing photos of him in the With walker, the walker. <laughs> so that I actually use Tie them. them in. So I had an intention there. Uh, next up, this is a Facebook post from my bestie because I stole it. And in this week, her brother had a baby and she sold her house. So it was a very exciting week. So she's a very important person in my life. So I decided to include that in my project life. It's fun to, I've said this before, steal things off your friends and family's Facebook pages. They're putting them out there for you to see and, and you can remember them in your Project Life album. Just a quick little screenshot and boom, it's a memory made. It's also it's something good to look back at. Like yeah. it's, you know, it's something different. Yeah. And it's not like I just put a, a thing of her just 
I went to the shops and bought some bread today. No, hey, exactly. hey. It's a pretty important thing that's happened. Bought some bread. <laughs> oh. Nothing wrong with documenting buying bread. I love bread. It has to happen. I love bread so much. <laughs> bread is one of my favourite foods. <laughs> my top three favourite foods would be cheese, potato and bread. If you give me a dinner that has all three of those ingredients... Oh boy, I I'm in love with you. I think. Did you feed me cheese, bread, and and potato on our potato. first date? Well, I know we had chips. We did have chips. Um, That's I'm potato. Sure there was cheese in there at some point. Did we have pizza for lunch? Possibly. <gasps> I think so, yeah. Trifecta from day one. (laughs) So I'm just adding a little bit of journaling and then a puffy heart and some little hearts that I drew. And I decided it needed a doodly border. Um, I'm using my Stadler pigment liners in various sizes. Uh, They're my favourite pens at the moment because they're easy to get at my local art shop. And quite often that's what I rely on, (laughs) ease to get (laughs) products. Next up, oh... Oh, this face is adorable! So this is a photo of Aaron's little brother. So the yeah, the the little guy on the right is my little brother Liam when he was well, about not the right because they're both on the right. A bottom right, sorry. The I older, thought I said the bottom. The older baby. Yeah, <laughs> and he used to pull this face all the time. Yeah, and then Archie started pulling that face, and it was like dead on yeah. it was almost the exact same face <laughs> so this is Archie's uncle and when Aaron and I started dating he was I think he was two two yeah he's now because going into Catelyn year eight of one, high school so, which yeah. is terrifying he's like my little brother out of all of your six <laughs> siblings yeah well he was the the youngest yeah no yeah. Caitlin was the youngest Caitlin no it was one. Oh yeah Caitlin was one that's yeah. right yeah but Liam's my little bud um, but yeah, I had to put those photos next to each other just to document the squishy <laughs> face. <laughs> so here's a challenge card. So make a filler card using a tag. Now look at this. Adele didn't pick enough string and she struggles and it doesn't work. <laughs> and so Stuff and Adele, Stuff and Adele should have just cut a new bit of string because it started <laughs> fraying then and it doesn't look that good. I have cut this string and I will use it. Exactly. That's, that's my motto. <laughs> So I'm just sticking that down and then I add some stamping. So if you want to do an extra step to the challenge, do a filler card with a tag and some stamps. Mm. Actually, I might make it that. I like that challenge. (laughs) That's a good challenge. (laughs) Challenge change. (laughs) Challenge change. Um, And I'm just using some of the stamps included in the Pocket Life kit this month. And they're really nice. They're like homey, cuddly, new year kind of vibes because there is there was a separate Christmas stamp from Citrus Twist um, that was available. I did show it in my Christmas haul that I did a few weeks, probably a month ago now. Um, so I liked that it wasn't overly Christmassy in the December kit, which is good because yeah. I got a lot of December things. Plus, I just designed all my Christmas uh, December Patreon printables. So I have a lot of Christmas things <laughs> up my sleeve to use. This, um, this, all this stuff on the right, all these little tags and everything, mm. that's really good because, like, that'll see you through for a while. It's oh, not yes. just, like, Christmas. Yeah. It's not just december nah, stuff. It's there's barely any, I think there's a couple of things that say merry, like merry and bright, maybe, yeah. or merry moments or something. But even, like, and you're not the hugest fan of green, but all of those mm. colours you could use at any other time during the year. It's not yeah. like super Christmassy yeah. red and green or yeah, whatever. Which is but good. it could still easily go on a Christmas layer. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Adding some puffy little stars and wait, wait, wait. It needs some hearty shine. Ooh, shake, 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 I've started doing that song with Archie's bottles. So when we make up the bottles of the formula, I go, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Archie loves it. Shake your milk keys. Shake your milk keys. And he's like, he gets all excited because he knows it's milk time. (laughs) 
Oh, don't we all get excited? I get excited because <laughs> it's Hardy Shine time. And Hardy Shine is the bomb diggity. Is that Pop It in a box? Yeah, it's, so Pop oh, It, Pop it is... Bun. No, no, not Little Bun. <laughs> little Naughty Bunny. Look how so, cute she is. No, so this box Look was... No, no, so this box was neatly in the recycling <laughs> box. It was inside another box ready to go to the garbage <laughs> bin. And she dragged it out dragged it across the lounge room floor and made it her new home and then how could i like, how could i boot her out of that it's too adorable <laughs> so she claimed that box i think almost until we moved Little pop it she, she had it for about a month it was her special box <laughs> frida was not allowed in the box frida got frida got <laughs> frida snapped got. at if she went in the box Aww. so i'm just adding i think i um did i put staying in I think I might have put staying in on that cork sticker. I'm just trying to see it. Um, I was going to put be original, but then I saw this one and I, I'm pretty sure it says staying in and I just thought that was perfect. Yeah. No, does it say? Yeah, staying yeah. in. Um, because that's all she wanted to do. <laughs> Add a little puffy, puffy here and done. Now, when I took this photo, here's a photo tip taking tip for you. If you are someone like me who likes to take photos of pets and more photos of pets and all the photos of the pets and then you look through your camera roll and you've got 50 photos of the same thing, try and alter how you take the photo. So there I purposely left a big space down when I took the photo because I thought, ah, I'm going to project life that uh, and I right. can put something right. down there. So think about the composition of your photos when you're just taking of, of you know, everyday kind of non-exciting things or like the saucepan take a photo because you can always crop it later as well exactly so this is this cute little strawberry um is my friend's little baby and she and i were talking um and she was sending me some photos i was being a bit indecisive and i'm sorry about the light it was one of those days where the light was just going in and out and my camera was picking it up weird yeah Um, it's been super overcast recently it has all Yesterday it was 40 degrees Celsius. Celsius. So that's in, in excess of 100 degrees. Boiling Fahrenheit. hot. Boiling hot. Um, and today it wasn't 40 degrees, which was very <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but this little bub is adorable. She was a month old here, this little Monica. And I just had to include these photos because this will be probably Archie's first, like, proper, like, lifelong baby friend. Um, and I just think it's it'll be cute to they'll be having photos together for a while. Yeah. I just think it's cute to include them together. Nice to look back at. Yeah. So adding a bit of a doodly border because I felt like it needed it. Um, this actually said good things come in small packages, and it was the packing card that comes in the kit. And all I did was cover up the citrus twist part oh, with right. the photo. So there we go. Cool. All done. All done. Looks good. So I really like how this one turned out. It was fun to do. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be scrapping kind of some more current photos. This is September, but it's, <laughs> hey, it's, it's more current than March. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.